Where the pen tool is, you know, pretty nice at making lines, but pretty boring at times. You know, I mean, this is a more exact thing. If I have something to trace around, I will use the pen tool. And you notice something that's occurring here. It's erasing everything. Why is that? Well, it leads me into the discussion of this. These are my swatches. You might not have all the colors. If you do, that's fine. If you need to make a new color, it's this button right here. And I can make any process color I want or any spot color I want. I hit cancel and choose red, which fills the shape with red. The one with the white line or red line behind it is no fill. So this one's my stroke and this one's my fill. And just by going over to my swatches, like if I want red for my inside and then I want yellow for my border. It's so much easier to go up here and click and drag them over than it is trying to fumbling my way to get these in order. Okay? Trust me. So now let's take for example I want to go back and maybe make no fill and a black outline. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to delete most of these. And in the next video, now that we know where swatches are, and now that we know how to interchange the colors on them, incidentally, we can also go in here and say, boom, and you can see these gradients appear. So these gradients and uh, different things that we got floating around in here, these all can be filled. How about I go down here for a second? and open my swatch library where I have a plethora of things like uh, oh let's see um, metal and then I have all the metal colors which are kinda boring you know what I mean yeah big deal I got green and I got this ugly green where did I get these at right that's where you really want to know and if you look in here under swatch library you'll find gradients and then you'll find like fruits and vegetables and then I'll be able to take these gradients and now use those. And for each time I choose a new gradient, notice it is launching them inside my palette here. So that is a, a way to add gradients or colors into this mix. Say I want this metal yellow color. All I do is hit the click on it and it'll magically mount itself over here somewhere. Okay, and if it does not, I can click and drag it over and put it right there. So that is color and how to fill objects and how to change your outline. Please go on to the next video.